Hello everyone, my name is Kirsten, I'm from Italy and I'm studying the Masters in Equine Science. Today I want to show you what a typical day of my life studying from home looks like. I just wanted to show you the view from my house. So it's a lot of mountains and a couple of villages. So just to give you some background information, I'm fitting my studies around a full-time job for a software company where luckily now I'm working from home so that makes it a little bit easier and um, training three times a week plus horse riding at the weekends as well. So I will usually try to get up by seven and um, have breakfast, do everything calmly and by eight o'clock be studying for an hour until nine when I start work. But first of all we've got to go and say hello to my bunnies. Hello bunnies, good morning. Breakfast? Oh, that was good. There you go. Okay, so it's 8 o'clock and I'm ready for an hour of studying before I start work on my full-time job at 9. Um, here you can see Learn, which is the online platform we use for studying from home. And uh, I'm actually on week 5 now and trying to decide if I want to watch a lecture or do some reading this morning. Right, so I've decided to go for a lecture this morning and then I'll be working on my assignment later this evening after work. So just to show you what a, a lecture looks like, uh, I'm already on the second slide but here you've got a pre-recorded lecture where you can go to previous or next slide and um, listen to things twice if you need to, which I find really useful. So let's just press play and have a look at what it's like. I'm just going to look at the epidemiology of equine joint disease, why it's such an important topic. Um, then we'll look at the classifications of joints, the different types of joints that there are. Um, we shall then move on to looking at the anatomy of a typical joint, the cartilage, the bones, the soft tissues that are involved. Okay, I think not everyone's going to be interested in equine osteoarthritis, so I'll leave you there. Keep studying and see you later. So it's work time now. I've got a couple of meetings coming up. Uh, as you can see, I've moved to the kitchen. I kind of like to move around the house during the day. Uh, lots of people will suggest that you create your own study or work area and to separate this part from the rest of your life, like your free time. Uh, I actually much prefer moving around the house during the day and it helps to keep my concentration a bit better. So I'll get to work and I'll see you for the lunch break. So four hours later I totally need a break. I don't think I'm going to do any studying in my lunch break today. I'm not going to do any training either, I'm really quite tired. So let's just go for a walk. back after a long day of work. I've now got a couple of hours before I go and have dinner with my parents. So I'm going to work on my assignment and then I'm going to call it a day. Um, just a quick tour. I've got an example essay I'm taking a look at here. I've got my paper with my scribbled notes all over it my statistics book open because I'm not that good at statistics yet so I need to check some information and another notebook with some more notes on this side as well. So I'll get to work. I try not to overdo it so if I stick to my two, three, four hours a day of studying I know I've done enough and I can do the same the next day. I have tried in the past to just do all one week studying in one day and it worked fine and then the next day I couldn't do anything at all so I prefer to do a little bit often and just keep going and there's always revision week when you get left behind. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it useful and if you're wondering whether you should take masters online or not, I'd say totally go for it. Bye!